So the pillowcase project is really cool because it came out uh, from something that we observed with college students back when we had Hurricane Katrina. Um, the students worked prepared um, beforehand to have an emergency kit. Mm -hmm. So what they ended up doing is actually taking a pillow out of their pillowcases, pretty much finding any kind of bag that they could use to mm -hmm. stuff their emergency supplies in um, so that they would have their supplies from their dorm rooms as they're being transported to a safer area like a shelter. So when we saw that, we kind of thought it was genius that they thought of very quickly, oh, I have a bag here, something I use every day, and in a couple of minutes, I'm ready with a kit that I can go, and then within the hour, I'm at a shelter. Mm -hmm. So we kind of used that and flipped it um, to, for youth because a pillowcase is something that most people have um, if they haven't thought about it, and we're just trying to say it's just as easy as that, um, but let us supply it for you with our sponsorship from Walt Disney. So I don't think there's anything more important than making sure our kids are safe, whether that's in school or at home. Uh, and so this is an awesome program that comes into schools uh, and makes sure the kids know what they need to know in case something unexpected happens at home. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's awesome that, that we're here at Fane Elementary School today and I'm really excited that we're going to be expanding this program across the entire school system uh, in the weeks and months to come. You, can, you can't predict when natural disasters are going to happen. And when they happen, students, our kids need to be prepared to, to deal with those situations. Um, they need to be prepared if and if they're with their parents and if they're, if they're not, you know, they need to know what to do. We have last key kids in situations that can happen when they're home alone, they need to know what to do. And then we have some kids who, uh, they, they don't get prepared for situations like this until a situation happens. So we want to kind of throw that out and have them ready uh, in case of. So one of the things that I was most impressed by with the program today is that they're not just stopping at, at fire, right? We, we had a conversation in there about flooding, earthquakes, um, tornadoes, just making sure that whatever could happen, um, that, that our kids are ready for it. Uh, being from New Orleans, uh, dealing with Hurricane Katrina, ac actually evacuating to Atlanta after the storm, uh, I know that situations that we think aren't as big or as, as, as bad as, as they seem in the beginning can get worse and, and they can displace you for uh, you know months and even years at a time, so I talk, I talk to kids all the time, particularly because they always want to know my story about natural disasters and how it has shaped me and things that we need to be prepared for. I think a lot of our things um, that we do, we just acknowledge the fact that third to fifth graders are very proactive. They're also very easy to engage. Um, and the great thing is they understand cause and effect. They know what to do in case of fire versus what in case to do for like something like a hurricane. Um, so the easiest way for us, the you know, the simplest way that we think about it is by engaging our youth, we can empower them to then go back and engage the adults. Um, so we're trying to create a resilient community, one family at a time. So hopefully with classes like this, what we'll do is create like a domino effect uh, well, they'll go home and share everything that they've learned. That family will then be inspired to create a 